Good morning. Boom. Yesterday we arrived. It was raining. And we parked here. We decided to rest. And there was no river. I remember that. And now there's a river flowing. One night of rain in the desert. So don't park in a riverbed. I just woke up. And where we parked, I didn't see that yesterday. I don't know. I hope this sign doesn't mean height limit. Because that's on our way. We just saw the sign. I took a picture. 350. Nobody told us that there's a height limit on this road. Let's see, we're still gonna go because we made it that far. And Isabella and me, we are just negotiating the truck sizes. Um, they are not as big as us, but they still go. And some of them are overload here in this country, like on top and stuff. So I believe that it shouldn't be a problem. Yesterday we saw the police right there where we parked and we asked for sleeping and they said, no, no, no problem. I don't know if they thought ahead because they saw where we were going, but usually police would also say, hey, be careful. But those trucks look right here. Obviously this one not. This is not as high as ours, definitely not, but they are always on top loaded. So we believe in faith and we go and hope the tunnels, I guess it's tunnels, is not too low. <laughs> I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home Frank the Tank for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain, and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Now we are going towards the tunnel. Yeah. Okay. Woohoo! Look at this view, amazing. It's gorgeous. Those guys gave us this camel. camel. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing you. Now it comes. There it is. We asked people and they told us that on the middle part it's only a precaution. I go out? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, up there. He said something? Yeah. You Watch the door when you open. I what? Watch the door. He's nothing. Just say. This is the lake. I thought that we would uh, yesterday night sleep there, but we decided to stop before. But it's a pretty amazing lake in the middle of nowhere. There is a military truck. Awesome. <laughs> cool. And armor. Bye. Nice. 
some reason this little leg has something to offer to military people. Supermarkets in Morocco. This is pretty cool. They have like paper bags and then you put your vegetables inside. And then you wait everything that you took and you have it there. Oh, nice bio products. Look at that. How many bio products they have. Look at that, Bavaria drinks. <laughs> I just asked the guy which one is the classic tea and he told me this one. Then I took that to do at home with mint because I have my new tea can that is from Morocco. We bought in Fez. They are really big productors of honey. They have all kinds of things here. Well, this is a supermarket in Morocco. There's everything you need. On Matteo. We just bought some vegetables and fruits. All in here for 50 euros. This is the supermarket. Awesome, look at this view. Amazing, right? Pretty cool. Wow, wow, wow. Check it out. Nice canyon. Huh, Matteo? It's warm here, huh? Nice canyon. It was an oasis. There are houses around this canyon probably to keep it cool.
there it is we decided to come to camp in Haku and now Fabian will get in Here we are in the camping. Mm -hmm. uh, Mustafa. No, the, yeah, the Mustafa. Here's Mustafa and the camping. Raku, Raku. Haku. 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 Haku camping. We will put it somewhere. Yeah. This is our second night. This was our second night in this beautiful campground. This is our first campground that we took here in Morocco and it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. There is Mateuzinho, he has the freedom that he wants to walk around, to play around, to train his new skills. Huh, Mateo? <laughs> Super Mateo! And it's pretty cool because we also met nice people around here and we have a couple that is from Germany and Holland we have those guys that we met them in Spain now we met them here again and we are going to do the camels tour together this campground is uh, costed per day 60 dirhams that this is like 6 euros and they have a washing machine they have a toilet shower uh, I don't know if you can fill the water but I suppose yes you can fill the water too then and the guy Mustafa is an angel he's really a nice guy every time when you come here as a welcome he get, he gives you like a Moroccan tea he's really amazing Ah, Mateo? Oh, is that nice? Yeah, I can show you guys around here. This is the area with the toilets. That's the have here. Toilets. The showers hot shower <laughs> another shower and here we have the washing machine under this plastic things the washing machine you can wash your dishes here and then you also have a kitchen here where you can wash your dishes cook something use the fridge it's an area for everybody this, I think, is a room that you can rent with a bed and everything inside. Hola, Vasco. That's it. Matheusinho. And this is? Zilas. Zilas. Zilas is our neighbor in the campgrounds. And Zilas is from Germany and Holland. And Mama is from Holland. And Mateo, keep on uh, coming. Ich, uh -huh. ich bin eigentlich von Dussling. Dussling? Das ist Deutschland? Ja. Ah, okay. Einer von den Bundesländern. Ah, Dusslingen. Then down there is the entrance. And here they have like tables and chairs. That's when it's raining. Yesterday we were inside there. The night before we were outside here. And... There it is, our neighbors, other neighbors, and look at this place, how nice. Palm trees, they have lots of dates here. It's pretty cool. 
So check it out, we wanted some water and uh, in uh, Morocco the problem is the pressure in the desert. Obviously they don't have so much pressure. But now I met Jacques, hello Jacques. Hello. <laughs> and he has a system that's awesome. So look, here you have the, the Bosch machine and this little pump is pressurizing the water and it's enough that I can go through my water filter system. So I have one bar pressure. That's nice. So this is the solution if you don't have enough pressure. And here, doo -doo 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 -doo. thanks to Haku Campground, here we are taking the water from. So we have a so-called water thief because also they don't have the threats here in some cases. And yeah, that's the thing. Cool. So thank you, Mustafa. Mustafa, shukran. Uh, Mustafa, we will link Haku camping here shortly before Mersuga. It's a perfect spot to relax, chill. Nobody bothers you. Thank you for your food. Thank you for everything. Merci beaucoup. He's the man here and lovely family. Shukran. <laughs> 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 COVID, exactly. <laughs> and now we are going there to Mustafa to pay him for the nicer service. Huh, Mateo? What do you think? Hmm? Do you have the nicer time here? Yes, huh? Do you want to go? Probably not. But we need to go to the next stop. That will be the camel rides. So they gave me this dress, lovely dress, and they just did the same with Tatiana. Lovely family here.